Joshua 3 5 b Ki machar yaase hashem bakir bechem niflaot. The subject here is Joshua, and he is telling the people, he commanded them to sanctify themselves, and here he explains why. For tomorrow the Lord he will do in your midst wonders. We have the sub uh, the verb here, yaase, and this comes from ayin, sin, hey. Now, in this case, the patak under the prefix pronoun, it is not an indicator of a hifil, because the ayin demands having a patak, and so we have that assimilation. So this is in fact a kal, imperfect. 3MS. The subject is spelled out, the Lord. Then we have this word here, niflaot, and this comes from Pe Lamed Aleph, uh, a, a wonder. And in this case, we have a nifal, as we can see by the theme letter of the stem. And we can tell by the ending. Uh, that we are here looking at a participle, feminine, plural. So in this phrase then, this key clause gives an explanation as to why. So Joshua first commanded the people, consecrate yourselves. And here's why. Because tomorrow the Lord will do wonders in your midst.